that's on fire. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah. That's going to be good. Going to have to clear just a little bit more for the yeah. lettuce, though. The food issue um, is something we've been doing for about four years now, and uh, we always want a very dramatic, high concept cover. And every year I write a little bit about Midwestern cuisine. So the piece that I'd like to talk about this year is smoke. And I was speaking with Martin Heuser from Affair, and he mentioned to me that he had a smoked salad, and I was all over that. What an arresting image that is. So. Uh, we got ourselves a little smoking gun and have been having fun in the studio today. Go ahead and push it forward a little yeah, bit. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, right in there. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just um, trying to set up the shot um, as similar to the shot we did that was a prototype and I'm trying to um, arrange my composition with the jar and the camera so that we have enough room to drop all of the text onto the cover. But I think we need to actually see little bit of that food. It's beautiful. This was a, a prototype test shot that I shot um, last Monday and um, what I'm trying to do today is I have that on my camera. It's got enough room for all of the type for the designers so I'm trying to replicate my lighting and my composition so that um, the designers will have a similar product to work with when they lay out the cover for the food issue. We kind of had the fork sitting up on that but I don't know. I guess we can start can there. This particular cover was very challenging this year um, in part because we're using smoke and smoke is very ethereal and so we're trying to sort of capture a genie in a bottle and pull that lid off at just the right moment so that it doesn't look like it's on fire <laughs> but has nice tendrils of smoke. That's a good one Tammy. See how it's just curling out? Yeah. It's not on fire but it's smoking. It's, it's a gentle distinction. So that looks like good smoke. We want to fan it a little bit. We want it to go flat instead of going up because of the way we're going to crop into a square. You'll lose it if it's going straight up. So getting that wafty feel. And if you get too much smoke in there, it looks like it's on fire. We have to keep playing around with the smoke gun. So we were uh, lowering the hose into the salad and pulling it out and too much smoke. And then, you know, about in the middle, maybe 10 seconds of good smoke, doing it over and over and over again. We practiced a day in advance uh, and just needed to make sure that we understood the wood uh, component of it because different woods give you different color smoke. We use the wood chips that would produce the most opaque white smoke so that we could capture that the best. Um, so, and it was a lot of trial and error and we shot a lot that had too much smoke and a lot that didn't have enough smoke. and. Um, we just kept working it until we got an image that we thought was representative of the smoked Waldorf salad. Using smoke in the studio did present some challenges. Uh, first off, we had to contact security and the electricians and the smoke, smoke alarms on the third floor of the Star Building were shut off for this photo shoot. My lighting setup here is I really just needed to highlight um, the smoke, so I've got a backlight, which was my main light actually today, and um, I had a reflector here that kicked a lot of nice light and a lot of specular highlights back into my jar, and those were my two main lights. I think today in the studio we shot a little over 200 frames on smoke, um, which was actually a pretty reasonable number. Some, some were test frames before we had the smoke, but I think that's about, I think it was at about 229 when I was finished. We did um, we did two salads in two jars. The first jar just didn't, wasn't quite right. It was a little sticky looking from the inside and I could see that through my camera. So we scrapped that and started with another salad in another jar and we, uh, Martin was very careful to not let the produce touch the side of the jar as he put it in there so it wasn't sticky and it was very, it was very clear and very clean, um, which is what you need when you're shooting. In, into a glass jar and also when it's backlit it'll show any any fingerprints and things like that. Uh, what we're looking for when we edit for our final image is um, we want really good smoke. We want kind of wispy smoke, not too much smoke. We don't want the smoke encased around the jar. We want it wafting up from the jar. Ultimately we do have to um, work with designers and leave space for type um, and the headline and so that played into our final our final uh, choice for a photo. 
Yeah, and that's the other thing we have to think about is reproduction because of what we're printing it on. It, we Black. will lose a little bit of the yeah. subtlety of what we're looking that at. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, so we might want to go yeah. a little overboard. And then yeah, but still, you see the nice. salad really, really good, you right? And then really it's well. very dramatic behind. Um, so that's that's and quite interesting. That, you, know, you don't want to obscure the, yeah. the lettuce. You know, the salad still has to show through, mm. and it's easy to put too much smoke on it. I think there are some pictures where it's cloudy and you can't really see yeah. the food. And but once you bring the tones up and bring the contrast up on that a little bit, I mean. Yeah, that could be an eye popper. Mm. Is that the one? I don't know. I mean. Is that I our think, hero? I think 